Hey everybody, what's going on? So, we just had an update go on, and the first thing I noticed, which is why I'm actually starting my recording right here, is that I had to update my save file before I got in there, which is pretty interesting. It's not something you normally see. Uh, so I'm going to go in here and see what is going on with 1.2.0. I'm going to see if I can find patch notes online real quick. Animal Crossing 1.2.0 patch notes. I'm going to go ahead and Google that. But basically I'm going to go ahead and run around here, see if I can find anything new on what is going on. Um, and if there isn't anything going on right now, I will probably forward to see. Uh, the following peddlers are newly visiting Rage Gardening Shop, Irani Market, seasonal events have been added so it seems like new villagers and stuff should be here also got mail let's go ahead and check that out bank of nook we're writing to inform you that we have reduced the interest rate offered to all savings account as an apology for any inconvenience please enjoy the attached gift we appreciate your business so this must have been something that they added in order to uh dumb down the or not dumb down but to curb the uh, exploit where you could put money in your bank account and then time skip a year to get a lot of money so they reduce the interest level and then Nintendo thank you for downloading the update we'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation please remember to keep an eye out for future updates as well so let's go ahead and see what they sent us so this one here should be from Tom Nook he sent us a bell bag rug. That should be interesting to go ahead and look at. And he also, we got a world map. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go into our house here and see what's going on on the inside. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Uh, so we can go ahead and see what this bell bag rug looks like. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Um, I'll figure out what to do with that here in a moment. We're going to go upstairs into my office environment. I'm going to go ahead and put up this world map so we can take a look at what that looks like. Oh, it's an actual world map. That's pretty cool. I, I expected like an Animal Crossing world map. No, this is like a real world world map. Huh. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look, see what else is going on, if anything has uh, been changed. Again, if not, I'll probably skip a day, go forward a day, um, and see if there's any new peddlers or stuff there. Let's go down this way. There's nobody in our square right now. Let's go ahead and go inside, talk to Nook and Isabel. Maybe they'll tell us something different about what's going on. construction counter doesn't seem like anything's changed there how about Isabel doesn't seem like anything's changed there either Let's see if there's any new information here at the nook step I must not have come over here today Either that or it reset. It could have been either or. Uh, let's see. Anything good for Nook Miles? No. Anything new in the Nook Shop? Doesn't look like it. Alright, the only other thing I can imagine right now would be maybe Red being over at the uh, Secret Island. So we're going to go over and check that out. If not, I'll be going ahead and jumping a day, seeing if there's anything new. If not, it might not actually happen till real time tomorrow. I don't know if they would have put that in the update or not. Um, they might have. Let's go ahead and go check it out, see if there's anything new going on over here. Actually, we could go check out the museum too, because the museum's supposed to get that expansion. Nothing over here at the Secret Island. Let's 
Museum still look look eh. Museum still looks the same. If I don't get tongue tied. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Maybe Blathers will tell us something. What's up, Blathers? Good evening. Welcome to the Zeller Isle Museum. Why, Dustin, I've been meaning to tell you the good news. Thanks to your hard work and the support of the good folks of Zeller Isle, the museum can now display more specimens than ever before. Thus, I am considering adding fine works of art to this fine institution's repertoire. So, if you should find yourself in a possession of a piece of art, by all means, please do show it to me. Alright, so there we go. We're going to get art added in. That's definitely been confirmed through Blathers there. Um, I'm assuming it's going to come up through here. So we're going to be probably seeing Crazy Red whenever we go ahead and forward until tomorrow. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I will catch you guys, I guess, in the morning when I go ahead and do that. See you guys here in like two minutes. Alright, so we're back in the game. I think I already saw Leaf sitting there at the resident services area before I got into the video. Um... We're definitely going to go check him out, see what's going on there. And we'll see if Isabel has anything to say about the new update. Good morning, everyone. Right now, Zeller Isle. Da, 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 da. Right now, to encourage eco-friendly behavior here on Zeller Isle, we're celebrating Nature Day. May 4th is the final day of the special activities. Now, let's get in the eco-friendly spirit, everyone. Now, for additional announcements. Recently, there has been reports of a suspicious character visiting the islands in the area. Apparently, this visitor has been selling works of art sourced from unknown origins. No one who has come into contact with the individual has been harmed, but please be careful out there. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. So, we're having these um, updates for Nature Day, which is pretty good. And then she definitely confirmed Crazy Red, so hopefully he'll be in our harbor today. We can go talk to him. We got more mail as well through Tom Nook. I'm writing to advise you of some special Nook Mile Plus activities that are available from now until May 4th, all part of our Nature Day event. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll come see me for more details. All right. So we'll go check out Nook. Let's go ahead and go over and see what uh, Leaf is up to. Yep, he, I did in fact see him. Let's go ahead and give him a talk. Hey, hey, and welcome. What should I call you, friend? Dustin. Did you say Dustin? What a happy name. Oh, yes, and I'm Leaf. I heard that my good pal Timmy started a shop here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me this was a deserted island before you moved here. What a happy adventure. I bet you were up to your ear holes and weeds when you first arrived. I, I was at that. But when the island itself is a blank canvas, that you can paint however you like. I hope some of the rare flower seeds and shrubs I brought uh, with me will be featured in your final masterpiece. Me too. I recommend lining them up around your house along with flowers, of course, for the best effect. You can't go wrong when you surround yourself with uh, such beauty. By the way, today I'm selling the happiest shrub I know, the azalea. That's pretty cool. And lucky for us, it's currently in season, so we don't have to wait to appreciate its lovely blossoms. Anyway, meeting you has been a true pleasure. I hope to see you again soon. Alright. Happy to see you again. What can I do for you? Ooh, you can do something with weeds? Are you interested in selling weeds? Yes, I know how it feels to start pulling weeds and suddenly realize, wow, this could take a while. Exactly. I had the feeling. But gardening should make you happy, which is why I decided to buy weeds from you at a very special high price point. And if you act now, I'll double what the nooklings are offering. That's 20 bells per clump of weeds. It's a win-win. You get paid for all that hard work you put into pulling weeds, and I get to enjoy the pristine weed-free island landscape. So, can I buy your weeds? Not right now. Since I don't have any on me, I don't think. Uh, but that's nice. He's still got his little weed, weed service. He doesn't pick them for you like he did previously, but he does buy them from you. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a shop. Oh yes, I'd love to introduce you to the, all the little seeds and saplings that I've got with me today. Does pink azalea start? White azalea start? I cannot even try to pronounce that. Blue hydrangea start? And the pink one? He's also got white roses, white lilies, red rose, red lily yellow lily and yellow rose 
so I'll definitely be buying a lot of these. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of each. I'll go ahead and buy five of each of these bushes. And we'll actually go ahead and start setting some of these down. That way we can go ahead and take a look at uh, what they're gonna look like. Let's go ahead and buy five of those as well. I don't know what I think about those pink and blue ones. They kind of look like mushrooms from here. Hopefully when they bloom they're gonna look a little different. And we'll go ahead and buy the pink as well. Nope, nothing else you can do. Um, let's go ahead and find a spot to put a couple of these bushes. That way we can go ahead and take a real look-see at them. There we go. Um... Let's go put some over here. Oops. In front of Robin's house. See what it looks like. Put it right here. And I'll plant one. Oh, okay, so they're just like normal trees. It takes a little bit for them to grow. So we're gonna go ahead and plant three of them. Probably won't be showing these off in this video because that would take a lot of time traveling there. Oh, and we got one of our limited time nature activities there. Plant shrub starts. Alright. Um, let's go see if red is at the, uh, at the secret island. Be pretty cool if he was. Ooh, he is too. He's right over there. So the thing to keep in mind is a butterfly. The thing to keep in mind about Red is that he uh, sells fake art. So you need to actually look up uh, and research what you're looking at. The ship's kind of sketchy looking. I shouldn't board without asking. What do you mean, I shouldn't board without asking? That That is interesting. Huh. So who, who do I ask? Is that, maybe it's Isabel, because she's the one that brought it up. Let's go over and talk to her. Uh, Nook wanted to talk to us anyway. I would get that, but I don't have a slingshot on hand. But that is what it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and, that's going to bug me. Let's go ahead and see what stamp this is. It's probably going to be a little bit of a longer video because I really do want to see what all this update has to offer. I didn't think we were going to be getting this till tomorrow, so the fact that we actually have it now is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and go see what Nook's got going on. Well, technically I wasn't supposed to have any of this till tomorrow, but the fact that we, we hopped around a little bit <laughs> to show you guys. Oh, good morning. How can I help you today? Island evals, island two, an island flag, and discuss a resident. I guess I'm good for now. She doesn't have what I want. Uh, Nook, you wanted to talk to me as well. Dustin, for a limited time, we're going to have a special Nature Day promotion for Nook Miles Plus members. Uh, during the event, we'll be giving out more miles than usual for eco-friendly island activities. We'll also have a special gift, so do consider participating in the event, won't you? Of course, it's my hope that island residents will be eco-friendly all the time, not just around Nature Day. Uh, what's this? You've already taken part in Nature Day activities, haven't you? Yes, yes. I'd like you to jump into the action. You are a shining example for the rest of Zeller Isle. Well, thank you. Now, as you've dem uh, demonstrated your eco-mindfulness, I have a special present for you. It's perfect for any gardener. It's a do-it-yourself recipe for crafting your very own hedges. That's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and take a look at those. Keep up the good work. I'd truly love to have you continue taking part in our Nature Day activities. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh, so they're actual hedges. That's pretty cool. 
So if I gather clumps of weeds, stone, and tree branches, I can actually make hedges. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, really what I want to figure out is how I get into Red's boat. The only thing I can really guess at this point would be maybe going to talk to, um... What's his face? Uh, Blathers? Maybe Blathers knows what's going on here. So let's go over there and see what Blathers has to say. Maybe Red will even be in there. Does not appear so, and we got nothing to do with the paintings yet. Let's talk to Blathers. Hoo-hoo. Was I be of service? Nothing. Hmm. I will await art donations with anticipation. Yeah, me too. I want to know how to get them. I will figure this out for you guys. I will definitely figure out how we get into reds. Um... I'm assuming I probably need to get, like, another invite from villagers. So I might go start talking to villagers and see what they have to say. But as of right now, I can't just waltz on in there. The ship's kind of sketchy looking. I shouldn't board without asking. Alright, I'm going to figure this out, guys. And I will cut right back to you. Um, that way you don't have to see me fluttering around trying to figure it out. Be right back. Hey everybody, so I'm back. I just wanted to confirm something with everybody. Uh, I went ahead to check. I jumped ahead another day to see if maybe uh, Crazy Red would be there for me to ask him. I built this during that day. Uh, and just to show everybody that might be curious, Red is not a permanent uh, station NPC or shop. His boat is currently not here, so he's only going to be coming along at certain times. I still haven't figured out how to get inside. Uh, I have one more idea to try. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the normal day and then go forward again and make sure that his boat's still there. My idea is maybe he only opens at night and I need to wait for him to uh, be out and about around nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and see if that's the case and I will be right back with you guys. Hey everybody, I'm back again. Um, quick update, I went back to the 23rd when Red first appeared and I started at night and he was not here. So I went back during the day and he is gone again. So if you want to do the time traveling, I was doing it to try to show you guys the event, uh, but if you do the time traveling he's going to disappear. Uh, just keep that in mind. I don't want you guys to make the mistake that I did. Um, I was unable to figure out how to get in there which is a little unfortunate. We'll definitely figure it out, and I'll definitely make an update to let you guys know how to go about doing it. Uh, but as of right now, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and post this video as a part one. Whenever I do figure out how to get into reds and buy the art, I will make an update to that, so look forward to that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you want to, and until the next one, guys, as always, take care.